everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And in our last video, we took a look at this, the old school original Kenner Real Ghostbusters Proton Pack. Now, if you've yet to watch that video, we do have a link to it down below in the description. And judging by the response and the comments, it seemed like everybody out there really enjoyed that video. So I thought we might as well do a bit of a follow up today and take a look at Kenner's Real Ghostbusters Ghost Trap. Now before this review goes any further, I do want to send a huge thank you out to Hastel Toy and Collectibles over on Instagram. He was the one that did all the legwork in acquiring this ghost trap. All I did was just buy it. So once again, a huge shout out to Hastel Toys. And I mean, come on, this was a must have toy for any Ghostbusters fan back in the 1980s. I mean, if you had the Proton Pack, of course you needed somewhere to actually stuff and trap that ghost. So of course you needed the ghost trap. You've got the ghost trap itself, which is blue in color and has the caution striping. And then attached by a yellow cable, we've got the foot pedal. And may I also just add, one of the rare few times a ghost trap has actually been released with a working foot pedal. More on that later. Let's first though fixate on the actual body of the trap. And as I mentioned, the overall design is very close to what we saw in the real Ghostbusters cartoon show. Looking at the sides of the trap, we have detail like this big red button that does nothing. A little sticker detail too that showcases six more buttons. Taking a look at the other side here, we have some additional details including a big blue looking knob. And then taking a look at the front of the trap here, we've got some more sticker decals with this really cool small little meter shown. Now speaking of the front end here, one of the big reasons I actually had to rebuy a ghost trap because I still have the one from my childhood is because like these front little kind of pieces of plastic, I don't know what you call these, kind of like a grating, I don't know, maybe like a heat sink kind of. The three ghost traps I had from my childhood all these areas were snapped off in some way. Not too sure if I was the only one that had that problem growing up, but if you did, be sure to comment down below and let me know. Now taking a quick look at the bottom of the trap, you can see it does come with four wheels. Meaning if you've got a couple buddies coming over, you can totally play Ghostbusters and reenact that scene from the first film, you know, when they're busting Slimer. Now another neat little feature when it comes to this ghost trap is you can actually attach it right to your belt. There's a little clip right up here and all you gotta do is just put a little bit of pressure, making it easy to attach to your belt. Or, you know, your Ghostbusters themed dress shirt, right? Of course, it also has a handle, so you know you can carry your ghost trap around. Also, we got this big, long yellow tube, which does attach to the foot pedal. And to me, this was always a huge win when it came to Kenner. They did an amazing job at adapting what we saw in the animated series to toy form, especially with this pedal. We got the two little red buttons, which are there just for show. And then you'll see on the top of the pedal, it does have this three lined effect. Now when it comes to the trap and the pedal, the trap is made of a hard plastic, the pedal a soft plastic. And of course, there is a reason for that because when you actually put pressure on the pedal, it's gonna blow air from the pedal through the actual tube here into the ghost trap, popping the doors open. Now given that these toys are like 35 years old, it's to be expected that uh, you know this feature may not work. Uh, there may be a hole in the pedal or in the tube or maybe where the trap you know connects. So let's go ahead, hit the pedal, and see what happens. It works. Oh, and one thing I almost forgot about is the ghost trap does include a little ghost as well. It's a glow-in-the-dark rendition of Gel Jaw, the same packing ghost that came with the Ray Stance Fright Feature figure. And yeah, I totally said glow-in-the-dark, and not only does Gel Jaw glow-in-the-dark, but the actual ghost trap, the caution striping on the top, glows in the dark as well. In fact, let's go ahead, turn off the lights, and show these two in all their glowing action. Now, I do not know how glow-in-the-dark features age over the years. And as we're showing you right here, despite this ghost trap being, once again, like 35 years old, this glow-in-the-dark feature is so vibrant here. And that also extends to that really cool pack-in of Gel Jaw. So that about does it for a look back at the Kenner Real Ghostbusters Ghost Trap. And I think really there's only one thing left to do, and that is to actually trap a ghost. So let me go ahead and just put this down on the floor here. All right, we got it there. Let's hit the foot pedal. And like I said, let's trap a ghost. Oh, one in the box, ready to go. I be fast, he be slow. That does it for us here today. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Plus that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in this video's description. And I'm gonna see everybody right back here next time. <laughs> <laughs>